been killed in front of her kids like we do a, a, a whole bunch of talk about domestic love relationships shout out to everybody who is in these domestic love relationships because we do need for you to be in domestic love relationship to really show your love and it's the only way that you can really show your love by being in a domestic love relationship it's facts it's just here what it is here we go y'all let's see where it transpire look 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 and tonight a family is angry after their loved one 34 year old maria roque was shot and killed outside her austin home wednesday morning mm. right in front of her two children the family says they know who shot her and why mm. the question is how a system designed to protect victims of domestic violence failed here's cbs news darius johnson mm. siblings are like best friends she was the mom, I will say that. Especially when they're the oldest. My brothers and me, she was the one that would be like, why are you guys are arguing? Andreas Roque is now missing his other half, Maria. I wanna cry, I wanna throw things, but I can't. They've been attached since day one, and the days without her. It's been really hard for everybody, especially I know my brothers. And they say I got notifications from um, three to seven and Twitch, appreciate it. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. And right now they, they're suffering a little bit, but we just want justice for her. And I hope it's very soon. Very soon. Wednesday morning, Andreas's heart sank when he got a call from his aunt. She just told me they took her to the hospital. And I said, what's going on? And she was like, she got shot. Mm. Chicago police say just before 6.30, 34-year-old Maria Roque was shot multiple times in front of her Austin home. Me hearing that my nephew cry and saying I tried to save her. Mm. Her two kids, ages 8 and 14, witnessed their mother take her last breath. One in the car and one, he heard the shot and see his own mom in the stairs trying to breathe and she put in CPR and that's the most horrible. Her twin and her best friend, Madi, both heartbroken, along with those who came to a vigil to honor her just days after her death. Shot this boy! Maria! May you rest in peace, Angel. She was a giver. Yeah. She wore her heart on her sleeve. You he said, he said, is that a woman? Say, I'm not convinced. I've never known she was going through the, the stuff that she was going through, yeah. the nightmare yeah. that she was living. She was living in a nightmare. Ain't nobody know about, about the nightmare. Ain't nobody try to wake up. Nothing. The nightmare Just... was a violent relationship. Oh. Her family says Maria was scared even after she filed multiple orders of protection. Oh. A warrant for her ex-boyfriend's arrest was issued on December 12th after violating that order one day before her death. She mm. was one to kind of like wipe it off. Like, it's going to be okay, it's going to be okay. A new one was granted just hours after she was killed, but it was too late. It was too late. It was too late. They wrote out an, another form and they stamped it and she already gone. I keep trying to tell y'all when, um, ladies, when you all is under the belief that these little papers is going to save you. These little papers, the little paperwork do not save you from somebody who really, really loved you. A piece of paper's not gonna save a life. Oh. As you see, Maria's not here. Glad she said it. And the paper didn't save her. No, no, no. You have to save yourself. No one's coming to save any of us. Listen, we get lucky if somebody just pop on in to save us, you like that right now. But um, ain't nobody coming to save you. We have to stop believing that right there. So that, that, that always goes back to our choices. We choose to be with the people that we is with. And if we choose to be with the people that we with, then we also need to be choosing. Yeah, we shouldn't choose to separate. <laughs> I know, I know. But what if it's violent and stuff? You signed up for it. You signed up for it. Stand strong. You know what I'm saying? Be a woman. Be a man. Don't Charlie run. Police say it's a domestic-related incident still being investigated. In the meantime... The family is preparing for her funeral later this week. I wonder what she did. I wonder what she did. I wonder was was the kids hers? I wonder what the kids his. My bad, I did say her. I wonder what the kids his. Hmm. Huh? Was it the children's father or was it just a boyfriend that just said, um, I can't live without you, baby. Move right along, I ain't gonna eat much hold you. Listen, it's all about who we choose.